I've been working on trying to improve our scheduling process and I see we have a need for more interns. We've had quite a few first years not able to handle the demands of being a surgeon, so we need to bring in three new interns. Due to having our departments differentiated, it's important that our interns go to the right place. I've scheduled some interviews, but I wanted some feedback from all of you on what type of interns you think will be successful in this program and what the hospital needs. I have two interns that seem very promising for neuro. I would really like to focus my teaching on them, so I would not recommend a candidate wanting to specialize in neuro. I could always use someone in plastics, someone who is able to be compassionate and comforting to patients, no matter what they come into the hospital looking like or wanting changed. And this current group wants nothing to do with me for rounds, but then they are suddenly interested when I have something exciting or new. I don't believe we have any current interns that are good fit for peds. Arizona said they don't know how to connect with the children. I would like to look for someone who does a better job connecting with kids, and even better if they have child care experience even as a babysitter. Okay, great. That's a good start. I'd like each of you to give me a list of specific names that are promising so I can go ahead and interview them. I want people who are determined, wanting to learn, and that are capable and flexible. First intern interview is already here? Yes, 45 minutes early. We know they all have the grades. We just need to see if they're... Functional human beings. <laughs> Terms always use first names. I try to connect with them over an anecdote or a shared experience. I think patient connection is just as important as surgical dexterity. Well, nobody ever bled out from rudeness. Right, right, right. Not as important. After I finished undergrad, I applied for the primary care rotation in Nepal. Air Force with distinction, two tours in Iraq and cybersecurity. Thank you for that. And you left to go into medicine. One day I caught some shrapnel and I woke up on a cot in a cash tent. I watched three combat surgeons save 37 soldiers in six hours. I counted. I kept score. I thought, that's not a bad way to spend your time. Also, I watched a lot of MASH when I was a kid and I had a real thing for Hot Guy Pierce. Me too! I read all about the fire, and the resident who said it, incredible. So smart, so brave, just fierce, you know? She's officially my new hero. What do you guys think about each intern? Were there any that you felt would be a good fit for what we were looking for? After working with intern one for the last couple of days, I'm happy to say that I finally found someone who is very compassionate and comforting towards my patients. Not only does she have the traits that I'm looking for, but she also pays close attention to each detail in the operating room. Intern 2 is very good at connecting with children and has years of experience with them. However, since she is new, it seems that she is having difficulties connecting with the parents. All in all, she fits perfectly in the peds department. Those two interns seem perfect for our hospital. It is important to have these positive characteristics and it will allow the place to run a lot more smoothly. I'll be sure to speak to them as soon as possible.